found about your lifestyle changes which seem to be fairly dramatic in what you can and can't do like preparing food what about your social life how has this actually affected your social life obviously you can't go on holidays unless it's overseas which is very expensive so how do you amuse yourself what do you do to have a social life I don't really have a social life um, most of my I haven't got any I've only got two friends um, um, and they've stuck by me especially one of them he's just been absolutely amazing um, and I've got my mother um, who I do care for so that's sort of like social um, contact and I've got a special needs young adult son and so that's virtually my social life um, helping them and doing things for them no more Saturday lunches with friends um, because I just can't go to a pub or a restaurant and eat the meals there. I just get very sick and and my friends just don't understand it because like it's just like a peanut allergy. Not everybody is, you know, allergic to the fluoride or, or has any problems with it. And so my friends, they're okay and they just cannot understand how I'm so sick. Um, yeah, it's just very hard for them to wrap their heads around it. So they've just walked away and I just hole up here. I'm a prisoner in my own home. I'm safe here um, without the exposure. So what would you say to the authorities that have put this water in as a blanket, supposed medicinal value with supposed nutrient qualities? What would you actually say to authorities they have got no idea what they are doing. They think they're doing a good thing, but they've got their own agenda, obviously, because there are so many other people out there that are as sick as me, some not as, and now I'm finding just from talking to people that there's been a cumulative effect with the fluoride in people's bodies in Geelong. Other people are starting to start get minor symptoms after 12 months. It's just not on, you should not, they should not be allowed to go and do something like that. Um, you know, if you want medication, you go to a doctor for a script. You just don't dump a poison into the water because that's what it is. And it's affecting not only me, but a lot of other people. So what are some of the obvious symptoms from fluoride damage that you can tell us about? Have you ever seen a fluoride tummy? No. Would you like to? <laughs> Go on. It's just like permanently being about like six months pregnant and by the end of the day it just bloats right up depending on how much exposure you've had and you know you just look at that it's not fat or anything it's firm it's, it's and you can have a feel just it's just side on it's Let's just see. like being preg pregnant. My goodness that's absolutely firm. Yeah. And how long have you had a, a fluoride tummy? About 16 years. Wow. And the doctors just said, oh, it's just gas, it just happens. But um, the pressure on my lumbar spine where my injury is and having this for that long has not helped everything. What do you actually think has caused the fluoride, what you call a fluoride tummy? I just feel it's just... Um, done something to my intestines, to my stomach, and it must be da some form of damage in there for this to blow up like this. So perhaps enzyme in inhibition? Possibly, yes. Um, nobody really knows, uh, you know, but it obviously has to be some form of enzyme deficiency. Um, I'm not eating properly. Um, but, you know, since the fluoride has gone into Geelong's water, um, I've gone from 60 kilo in weight down to 46 kilo. Um, not good, but the stomach stayed the same, so it's not a, an overweight issue. Um, the stomach stayed and the weight's just dropped off. And I just have to live with this, and it's very hard getting clothes to fit, and it's very uncomfortable, especially when it bloats up. At night time, it can get out like this, and it just... Oh, you feel like it just wants to explode. It's absolutely insidious. And, and nobody should have to put up with something like that. What do you actually know in your experience of what is happening out in the community that you feel might be fluoride related? Well, I've noticed that uh, people that I'm in contact with, um, their memories aren't as good as what they used to be. My mum used to be as sharp as a tack and since the fluoride has gone in, 
on a um, daily basis, she her, her memory is not nearly as good as, and she's just putting it down to age, and I'm just talking to other people, and they feel as though their brains are just not as alert as what they usually are. And I've noticed that when I've had contact, like I like I wash dishes and I'm breathing in the hot steam, so it's more concentrated. Um, my brain just feels like it's numb for a while. Um, and, and when I've had a shower, um, well, that's a different story. I get sick when I have a shower, but my brain is totally dead. It does not function at all. And, and I end up in bed for two days after a shower with severe nausea and, and vomiting. Um, lovely life. Um, I wouldn't wish it upon anybody, but you know, it's just more and more people are, are just having this brain fogginess and they're just putting it down to, I'm getting older. And they're feeling tired um, and not wanting to get out of bed in the morning. And again, a lot of people, especially the elderly, are just putting it down to, I'm getting older. And I really don't think this is the case. Um, I think that's, a, I'm sure the fluoride has got something to do with it. You know, for people's lives to change, you know, like that in 12 months, um, what else could it be? Okay, even my cat, she hates fluoridated water. She will not drink it. And so therefore she um, drinks the Nobles Puro water that I drink. And, and of course she loves her rainwater as well. But she's very specific on what she likes and what she doesn't like. And you listen to your animals because they know. They've just got this inner sense. They, can, they just know when things are bad and they just avoid them. Um, and that's just what I love about animals. Their sixth sense. You can always rely on it. And regarding my teeth, um, what teeth have I got left? <laughs> I've got five bottom teeth left. Um, my top teeth went oh, probably about 20 years ago. Dental fluorosis. They were just falling apart. And this year in January I had to get the rest of my bottom teeth out because they were just the brown lines on them, they were just just literally falling apart in my mouth. Um, no matter what I was doing, I've always looked after my teeth. I've just been very obsessive about that. that's my upbringing. My mum was, you know, very big on dental hygiene and what you ate as well. There was like very limited lollies and things like that. So I've done everything that you're meant to do, including using the so-called fluoride toothpaste. But when my dentist took out my teeth, my teeth fell apart. You would have to go to the dentist every now and again for oral checkups, for good oral hygiene. What actually happens for you? Because clearly you have a, um, a, se a severe allergy to fluoride. What happens when you go to the dentist? Well, I have to take my own water and the dentist, you know how they have that irrigation water thing that they put in your mouth. Well, he has to get a big syringe and he fills it up with my water and the dental nurse has to use that to irrigate my mouth. Um, because there was one time um, he used his water drill on me and I got ulcers in my mouth and he distills his water but obviously it's not getting out the fluoride. Um, and yeah, he just he's not coping anymore and I've got dental fluorosis on the remaining five teeth that I do have and I don't know how long that they'll be in my mouth for but yeah it's just dental visits um, are a nightmare um, because I still have that impact or contact with the fluoride when I do go there because you can't avoid it you don't know what's in the fillings I've talked to my dentist about it um, are there fluoride free you know treatments and basically he cannot really tell me and you say you mentioned that uh, the dentist isn't coping. Could you perhaps expand a little on that? Well, I think it's um, challenging all his um, indoctrined belief system um, because they've been told that fluoride is very good for your teeth and he's got a patient that um, is intolerant to fluoride. It makes me sick. It puts ulcers in my mouth. The toothpaste hurts my teeth. So you're talking about um, pharmaceutical grade fluoride, aren't you? Or yes. And would you say there's a difference between pharmaceutical grade and what we're drinking out of our tap? 
Um, yes, like what we're drinking out of the tap is just pure toxic waste. Um, it's got all these other, you know, mercury, arsenic and lead and cadmium, God knows what else it's got in it. It's just a toxic mix of chemicals. And it's no wonder that there are people that are sensitive, you know, to a chemical overload. And we're breathing it in. It's in, a, in the air as well. The hydrogen fluoride from all the companies around Geelong, Alcoa, Shell, Pilkington's Pivot, you know, Blue Circle Cement, it just goes on. We haven't got a hope. Um, even our tank water's not usable. You know, I wouldn't even drink my tank water, let alone ba bathe in it. Why wouldn't you drink your tank water? That's rainwater. Um, it's filthy and it just smells. It's like I've seen what my garage roof looks like and, um, and I've been up there and cleaned out the top of my tank and everything and it's just revolting. So you're saying this is um, stuff that's gone into the atmosphere, different chemicals that have gone into the atmosphere that then fall down onto the rooftops and then are then washed into the tank? Yes, definitely. Perhaps you could share with the audience a little bit about what happens when you do your weekly or fortnightly shopping down at the supermarket. Well, I have to read all the labels. Um, people have got no idea that water is an ingredient in nearly everything that's on the supermarket shelves. You know, it just goes from tin food um, right through to your fruit juices, even your biscuits. Everything has got water in it or has been had a water component. And it's not filtered water, it's fluor It's just obviously tap water. Um, I've eaten frozen blueberries and on two accounts when I've eaten them, I vomit within 10 minutes of them being inside me. I've eaten fresh blueberries organically grown a long way from, the, this is like past the Otways, clean country, not a problem. Um, I didn't vomit them up, they stayed down, it was wonderful. But you know, the local abattoirs, they're now hosing the meat down with the fluoridated tap water. So it's in your meat. The fishmonger, they're you know, washing the fish underneath the tap, cleaning it up, and then putting it on fluoridated ice. So it's in the fish. The chickens, you know, the, all the chook farms, they're drinking fluoridated water, they're washing and cleaning the, the chickens with it as well. And like meat, you know, I think it's what they call cryovact or sealed, you know, so that it's got longer life like your corned beef. That's got water in it as well. So I can't even eat things like that. And when, and of course, I have to eat something. Um, and so, you know, like a lot of vegetables, they, you know, with higher water content, I can't eat them anymore um, because I'll just feel nauseous. And, and what happens is I get this build-up in my system and every now and then I'll just have this random vomiting and nausea due to what I've eaten and it also affects my bowels with really bad bowel cramping. Um, it's just horrible and I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. Um, supermarket shopping is... And another thing that I found too, they spray the vegetables in the supermarket and in some green grocers with the tap water, they have their little spray nozzle to make the vegetables and salads look nice and fresh and to keep them looking fresh. So they've just been constantly dosed with the tap water. And when I saw that happening, I just put down everything I had in my basket and walked out of the fruit and veg shop and I've never been back there again. And now I have to ask, do you spray your vegetables with tap water to make them look fresh? And if they say yes, I walk away. Okay, I bought water yesterday and I've got to get it out of my car. Um, people at the supermarket put it in there for me and so I usually get my neighbour um, or one of my neighbours to carry it inside for me So, because I just cannot lift a 10 litre container of water and it's just too heavy. And you know, this is part of my life now. It sucks. This is what I do. I buy water because I'm forced to.